1910 to 1939 pennies. I know it's a pain, right? That that the clearance on it is terrible. Uh, it was like I we went through like five different extensions to get it just right to kind of sort of get it on there. It was such a pain, and I, I mean I was on the ground at that point, and it was it was back breaking. I felt so bad. Ross was helping me out with it, and it was like just an absolute nightmare. Holy cow! Japanese government. You got a lot of the Japanese government stuff in here. Wow. One peso. Oh, well, there you go. Like you said, there's a Reichsmark in here. I mean, their money, you got to admit, their money's way nicer looking than ours. Regardless of the era. You look at some of the stuff, the... You know, a lot of these European countries, that's Greek, huh? That's got to be Greece, yeah, I would imagine. Yeah. I mean, look at that. There was, yeah. we didn't have any bills that beautiful. And then the blues and the reds. Holy There was cow. a couple of Confederate bills in there. <laughs> really? Holy Yeah, cow. and they're in so, rough shape, but I brought them. They still might be worth big money. I have them in the house, actually, but they're, yeah, they they're still cool. might be worth big money, yeah. They're not worth, he said they weren't, cause he, but um, the guy I go to church with, he, actual, he wrote actually a book on Confederate money. You're kidding. He brought him in and, and he put him in like the envelope, you know, sealed them up for me and wow. wrote down, you know, how many they made. But he was telling me those were all hand signed, the Confederate money. You know, you know how it's all, you know, printed or stamped, but he says everything was hand signed back then. That's I wild. That's crazy. So he just sat there and kept signing the bills. Signing right. The bills. So I, I saw the same thing at the, the, the uh, there was a coin show in Manchester a few years back. That would have been just before we met, probably like 2018, in the in the spring or something. Yeah. And uh, that was, it was interesting. I, I went there, I mean, I, I couldn't afford to buy almost any of the stuff I was, uh -huh. you know, <laughs> most of the stuff I was into, I was like, oh, geez. I looked yeah. at the price and it's like, uh, never mind. <laughs> but you know, one thing that was cool, there was a guy who had the, the uh, General Marshall... Uh, what was who was it? <sighs> wow, this one's cool. I actually, I might have some. I might have some older. I definitely have yeah. not as nice versions of these, but I have a couple of them. I don't know if it's maybe this one, but uh, yeah, there, there's a while. Look, look, look at even this. Look at this. Just a little I know it Japanese like a, one. Yeah, so funky. I love the font. You know all the different. It's amazing the colors. And... Yeah, and you think it probably was more vibrant when it was printed, right? Like it, it's probably faded a little bit. Holy cow! This Bank of England one pound bill is amazing. Holy cow! Right. <laughs> Holy Christ! This, what's this Iron Cross situation? Oh yeah, that's original. That's, that's the real deal. Where wow. I don't know. <laughs> Belongs in a museum. 1914. So this is, this would have been probably a German. In well, actually, right? Yeah. Holy cow! That's probably solid silver too, by the way. Is it really? Yeah. I I mean I I don't know I I wouldn't I I wouldn't say 100 percent one way or the other, but I mean back then, I mean an Iron Cross was a big deal, right? I mean when you got the upgrade in World War II it was because it had diamonds on it, so assuming that it might be silver is not I don't think that's far fetched, especially you know at at, at that point in the you know in the teens. I mean that would have been before the crash, before you know before the worldwide meltdown. Wow, these are beautiful. Oh, there's one in here with a horse. <laughs> Take a picture of that for Kate. She'll be able to tell me what kind of horse it is. <laughs> oh, that's that's Irish. 1939. Man, that's some cool coins. 
Portsmouth Division, one fare. Holy cow. Oh, Virginia Electric and Power. So it's probably not Portsmouth like up here. It's probably... Yeah. Is there Portsmouth, Virginia, I'm assuming? Oh, man, you get some cool stuff in here. This is wild. Like you said, there's some German stuff. I like all the weird coins, the ones that don't have, that, that aren't round. They're like flower shaped oh, yeah, or they've got yeah. neurals or whatever. Right? So cool. So there's, there's a bunch of silver stuff in here then. I think my cousin has them, but um, the picture it's, he wrote down should have killed the bat. Shot him down. Yep. It's wild. You got an 1889 British coin in here. I don't know if this is 10 pounds back then or something. Solid silver, absolutely gorgeous. I mean, it's obviously circulated, but the condition is fantastic for something that's, I mean, holy cow, that's what, 136 years old. That's wild. <laughs> right, yeah. Yeah, one from the CCCP. A lot of good stuff in here. But yeah, there's definitely some silver content. I mean, that's, you know, mo most of these coins where they don't have the copper on the edges, obviously. That back then, this French coin, that's that's Ross is good at being able to tell even just by the clink. I, I'm not, I don't know. I, I've never had fantastic hearing, so I can't necessarily tell, you know, at a cursor, you know, like at, at first. But I can detect a difference. Like I do, I get that, that there's a difference. You know why the Chinese money had the holes in it? It was easier to carry. They put it on like a, like a wool string or whatever. Yeah, I, I never really, you know, I wasn't sure as a kid. I never really got, like, I mean, an explanation. It kind of made sense why, would, you know, that's what I always thought it was. I didn't know 100% sure, but I always thought they must, they must yeah. run, like, a wire. Yeah. Or... Right, it would make sense, yeah. That's what, 